I think a lot of this record is me kind of picking apart and analyzing those feelings. And that's what most of the, the, the songs are about. It's just this desire to be um to be so conflict averse that you become a blob and never leave your your room. <laughs> yeah. And just like kind of grappling with that, you know, looking into it and like kind of deciding like, is this a way that you want to live? Is this a way that you can live? Like, mm -hmm. is your, like, you know, I, I, from, from the, you know, from the, the life experiences I've had from the everything, you, you know, the you know, growth is uncomfortable. If you are constantly growing, you are constantly uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, th I felt like I'd been constantly uncomfortable for long enough. And I just wanted to, to not, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to prioritize my comfort over you know learning <laughs> anything yeah. yeah and and you kind of use the album as as a way to to come to that conclusion um it, not to come to that conclusion but to explain gotcha where i was okay like it kind of felt like i you know like like you you go on some weird depression bender and you come back and everyone's like where the fuck were you and yeah that record is the answer to that question okay that makes sense and then on the music side of things um for writing this record um a lot of it was trial and error but i think a big thing a big focus was that like it was a lot more intentional yeah. um i think instead of jamming and we come up with like a flashy part or like a cool riff and be like oh yeah that's like a cool riff like this is like a cool flashy thing we could do we focus more on like how can we make complete songs that like feel great as like a whole piece and not just like a series of cool parts and cool sections. Mm -hmm. um, I think also these songs um, are a lot shorter. We wanted to um, kind of make our point uh, in a, in a smaller period of time, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a lot more intentional, I find. I think the reason why this album was so much more intentional in, like, the aspects Tyler was saying was because it was more lyric-focused. I think Lucas would come, instead of with a guitar riff, would come with, like, a poem or a piece of prose, and then we would kind of build a song from there and then layer, like, the chord structure and stuff from there instead of being like, oh, here's, like, a guitar riff. Let's, like, figure out how we can jump back and forth between sections to that mm -hmm. um, it was a lot more like intentionally based around like the flow and the theatrics of the lyrics gotcha uh, so I think, I think another aspect to the songwriting too that um we haven't touched on is um justin bartlett the engineer of this record um who produced it helped us a lot with songwriting mm -hmm. i think something that they added to this was like a level of focus um their experience being around a lot of um you know, a lot of albums in their creation um, kind of had this insight of how to focus songs and make certain parts shine mm -hmm. um, just because they had a lot of experience doing it. So that that was a pretty uh, essential part of this this album as well. Hell yeah. Um, I, I'm curious, like, what, what kind of writing do you guys find to be the easier of the two where you're starting with the instrumental and then the, the lyrics are coming with that or where the lyrics are kind of already there and you're building the instruments around it? Which one is easier for you guys? I don't, I don't necessarily know if one is easier than the other. I think it really depends the context. Sometimes Lucas comes to us with um, a full song written and it's so easy to be like, I have like this exact direction of like where this is headed and like, we could, you know, we could get it together in like a day. Mm -hmm. um, other other times, it, it may be easier when we have this like foundation laid with music um, that just came really natural. Um, I would argue both albums have been a little of both. This one leaning definitely more on the lyric side, though. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. So what particularly is inspiring? Like, is this guitar riff particularly inspiring, or? Does this like do these two verses like really make you want to write and finish the song kind of thing? That makes and sense. as far as lyrically, I'm always going to write more than you're going to hear on the record. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, yeah a lot of it's a lot of it's like a lot of what we do in like our writing time is like eliminating redundancy, just being like, does this need to be said? It's almost like 
sometimes it's almost like writing like a thesis paper, you know, where it's just like, you don't want to like, like, I'd rather have a shorter paper that says more than have a longer paper that says, you know, the same thing a bunch of different ways. Because we've all written those essays too. Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually think I've ever written the first essay. <laughs> oh no. So, you know, you ever, you ever like write an essay for like a, like a class and you just like, I, I know I need three points in my body, but I can only think of two. So I'm going to like, going to fudge the number. Yeah, you know, exactly. I yeah. was, uh, as I got older, I became the student that said, I only wrote two paragraphs and they asked for five while well, they're getting two because I, I'm Damn. just not going to bullshit anymore. I don't care. Yeah. Wow. I respect the hell out that, of that. That's why I stopped going to college after two years. <laughs> <laughs> Quality over quantity. Oh. Hell yeah. Exactly. Hell yeah. <laughs>